right, guys. Uh, on to the next section, redacted. Um, hiding is a major part of programming, it says. We cover hashes on a later course. We're going to run a simple program to change the user input. Uh, hit save and submit. So uh, let's work our way through this before we do that so we know what's going on here. So it's going to print this out. Uh, it's going to ask us for some text. It's going to then say what words do we want to redact out of it. And it's going to split it. And then we're going to uh, do the loop. Words dot each do this. And we're going to say if this word is not equal to redact, print the word plus a space, else print redacted. All right, so let's see here. Text to search through. Um, Dylan is cool. Period. Uh, word to redact is Dylan redacted cool. And then you can see that it broke up what we had into an array by the looks of it. And then redacted. Cool. All right. Next lesson. So use the puts prompt for a user to input two times. For the first puts, declare a variable called text and set it equal to the user uh, input via gets chomp. All right. So this is going to want us to puts. Please enter some text, and then we'll say. I actually forgot what how they do, how do you use. All right, so then we'll say text equals get a chomp. Okay. Now, see, text equals get a chomp, and then let's please. Enter some more text. I'll we'll say text to equals text.chomp. Oh, they gave us the name. Alright, this is actually called redact. Uh, and set it equal to use the same thing. Okay, so that should work. Dylan. Is real. Cool. All right. Next, we're going to be using the dot split text wave string and returns an array if we pass it. That's what we'll do. Okay. A delimiter. So it wants to declare a variable called words. So words and set it equal to the result of calling dot split. Alright, so there text. So tech equals text dot split. And in this case, we're splitting it with a space. Uh, in this example, it might be, it would be a comma if we had like maybe a list or something. Um, but the, what we're doing right now, we're splitting it with this. Alright. And we'll do Dylan. Let's see. Is there a Take out C. We don't actually take it out yet, but I'm sure you can set info. All right, cool. So let's start simple. Write a dot each loop that goes through the words and just prints out the words as it finds. All right, so we'll say words dot each do. Clean up our code a little bit. I I typically like to keep things with a space in between it, just so I can kind of go back and write uh, code in later if it needs to be. So I'll say Dylan, say Israel, and then it just prints out Dylan because we're only doing the text dot split. So that works. Um, maybe I should have done a better example, but uh. You live and you learn. All right, so we're gonna add an if or self else statement to our dot each. If the current word equals the word to be redacted, then print redacted with that and exercise. 
All right, now let's see. If so, we're going to say if uh, x equals um, re reject print redacted else. Alright, so. Okay, yeah, that doesn't need to be indented. Ruby 13. Oh, they do need to be indented because we're going down the do loop. Syntax error unexpected n, expecting keyword underscore n. If it's equal to that, print that, else print that. Hmm, seems pretty simple. Alright, let's see, let's see if they have it. If this, take this action, else take this other action, and... Oops. Alright, we're gonna go back to... Okay, so... We had our we had our n in the wrong spot. So now that this is our last sort of statement, we're gonna do it like that. All right, we're gonna reset this code and. We're going to say if x is equal to redact, print x. Yeah, it's definitely got something to do with. Or if it's equal to that, redact, print redact, else. So we're going to the Q&A forums. And we are on 5 of 6. This part wasn't very helpful. All right.
so that didn't fix it a second or something. Look back at the first example. Oh, they have two ends. Whoops. All right, simple enough error. So we officially printed out our redact, or wrote our redact class right here, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, so now we can check our work. We'll do, like, Dylan is cool, like, cool with, and we'll remove cool, Dylan is redacted like redacted with. Alright, cool. So there you go. Sorry about the little brain fart there. Um, so my first time using Ruby, first class on Ruby. So that was our redacted kind of, let's put everything together. Next, we're going to be using data structures. We're going to be creating arrays by the looks of it. Um, so it should be some pretty cool, pretty fun stuff there.